What's up, guys? Eric here, Mr. Fired Up Wealth. I want to bring a, just a quick kind of impromptu video. Just A lot of you guys like when I make these videos, just kind of speak to the camera and tell you how it is. Nothing scripted. I want to talk about yesterday. We had you know, a lot of the growth names, a lot of the high P names. We had a hard sell-off, a sharp sell-off early in the morning yesterday. A lot of them recovered quite well. And it's interesting if you look at the technicals, you look at some of the charts, a lot of them came kind of to certain trend lines. It was all, it looked very algo driven and it was very um, messy. It just kind of across the board, almost looked like institutional investors just kind of hitting the panic button and selling all of those kind of names. Now, the reason I wanted to make this video is I've got, you know, the discord channel and, and we, we talk in there and we had, you know, a few people that actually came to the group and said, Hey guys, I'm down, you know, quite a bit. And they were very concerned with just the risk in their portfolio and they were kind of panicking a little bit. Now, if you're new to investing, you know, it can be really scary if you haven't experienced washouts like that. I want to say this though, it can, it can get a lot worse. I mean, the triple Q's, the QQQ, the NASDAQ is still basically it's bent, but not broken. It got back down to that 50 day moving average, but we're still 10% above the 200 day moving average. And if you've, if you've watched any of my kind of masterclass videos that, that I do through the, the Patreon group, you know, the last video we did was on technical analysis, introduction to technical analysis. And it talks about how a lot of stocks come back to earth to those moving averages, especially, you know, the 200 day moving average. Now, high growth names don't always do that. Sometimes they do the 100 and sometimes they use the EMA instead of the, the SMA. But nonetheless, the point being is that a lot of the, the moves yesterday seemed very algo driven. Now, one thing to keep in mind, when that happens, a lot of times the algos want to retest those numbers. So it doesn't mean it's guaranteed that it'll happen, but you can see we've got a lot of volatility this morning. Like we opened up, we were down 0.75% on the NASDAQ and then it kind of rebounded a little bit. Now it's selling off a little bit. I think you're going to see some volatility and you got to remember We've got that whole kind of rotation trade into the, the value, you know, names and a lot of, especially if, if, if somebody doesn't understand really what some of these tech, technology companies do, they might perceive them as a stock that only did well or a company that only did well because of the, the recent events, you know, the stay at home trade and everything. But a lot of them, that's not necessarily true. And you really have to understand the fundamentals and it's very case by case and each stock is going to be different. So Keep that in mind. The other thing that I really wanted to address making this video, though, if, you, if you're panicking when we have these big sell-offs and your portfolio is down excessively more than even like the NASDAQ, like say the NASDAQ's down, you know, 2% and you're down 4, 5, 6%, it means you have high beta. It means you have just higher risk. And that's fine if you're comfortable with the risk and understand the risk reward to that. If you're young, you might be very aggressive in growth and you might have days like that. Now you have to keep in perspective because you know maybe you had some of those stocks that were up several hundred percent and they pull back 20%. It's not really that big a move to you. The key though is getting into those stocks early and not chasing. So if, you, if you've experienced that before, you know that's a much better feeling and you don't panic because you still see green on your screen. If you just bought some of those names towards the top and all of a sudden they're down and you, you lost 20% of your initial investment, you know, you might be freaking out. So the reason I bring this video to you is if you're not comfortable and you, you have that gut feeling like you're sick to your stomach, that probably means you need to address your portfolio, your risk tolerance, your suitability, your goals. You know, it might not be in alignment in what you actually own. So I think most people do their best to structure portfolio. If you haven't watched the videos on my channel, I have videos that explain how to build a portfolio, how to have balance, and you can adjust it depending on your risk tolerance. You know, I like to have a little bit of ETFs in my portfolio. When I say portfolio, I'm usually talking about my taxable brokerage, which is in excess of $1.5 million. Um, and, and basically I'm, I'm, I'm trying to have some balance in there. So I've got a little bit of ETFs. I've got a lot of growth. I've got what I call DGIF, that's Dividend Growth Investment Fire, that's like total growth. So you're talking about companies in there like a you know, tractor supply company or an Apple. Those are stocks that have growth on the actual share appreciation, but also on the dividend, and they can still act like a growth stock with some you know, dividends that compound for you when you're young. 
So you don't necessarily want income stocks when you're 25 years old, at and I mean, if that's your risk tolerance and suitability, sure. But for a lot of you, you want to have growth. And to have that growth, you have to understand the risk reward of that growth. But, you know, you might want to have, say, you know, 20% of your portfolio could be ETFs. And you could have, you know, 40% of it could be in growth stocks. And you could have 10 or 20% in spec stocks. And I always like to have some cash, too. But... You know, if your whole portfolio is spec stocks, you know, you might have had a lot of pain yesterday or even today, and you might want to address that. That's all I'm saying. So if you're interested in more about portfolio creation, you know, subscribe to Fired Up Wealth on YouTube here. Check out the channel. There's a couple of playlists that will show you some really like, you know, 40 minute to an hour long videos that I talk through and break down how to build a growth portfolio. The first video I did, you know, that portfolio has absolutely crushed it. I plan on making another one of those videos soon. And I've got a whole masterclass series through Patreon Discord. There's six hours of content now and more coming on the way that basically tell you, you know, everything you know from how to build a portfolio to technical analysis, fundamental analysis, quantitative analysis, qualitative analysis, all the things you need to be a successful long-term investor. So if that's what you're looking for, you're looking for, you know, to build a portfolio for yourself, manage your own money and understand the risk reward and make sure you're aligning your portfolio to meet your risk reward, your suitability, then I really think that this channel will help and, you know, check out the other videos. And like I said, if you're, if you really like what you see, you know, we take it three, three levels higher in the, uh, the Patreon and Discord. But even the, the, the YouTube channel's got great information. I continue to try to make videos to help you guys. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, drop them below. I always try to respond to every single comment. If this video was helpful, please hit the like button. Please subscribe. I, I appreciate your time and attention. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Take care.